See you, Braden. Of course, we're hearing about the, all the burn ban news this morning of the ever growing list to uh, the burn bans across East Texas. When can we possibly expect rain? Well, unfortunately, I don't have any rain in the seven day forecast, even though we badly need it. It's just not looking like something that's going to happen here anytime soon, unfortunately. But what we do have is some cooler temperatures across East Texas this morning, thanks to that cold front that pushed through last night. 40s up here into Oklahoma now making their way down to the Red River sitting at 45 in Texarkana and you can clearly see where that front is located now starting to move through the Houston area where their temperature has dropped into the 60s this morning. But behind that cold front, we've lowered humidity and we also have some gusty winds which will lead to elevated fire danger this afternoon. Combine those factors with the dry ground that we have out there. It wouldn't take much to spark a fire, so definitely want to be mindful of that if you are doing any kind of burning out there and if you're in a burn ban definitely shouldn't be doing any burning anyway this is a look at our rainfall percent of normal over the last 30 days and we're pretty much at zero percent for most of us here in east texas as we just haven't seen any meaningful rainfall over the last 30 days and here's a look at those burn bans of course most counties here in east texas now included in that with the exception of some of the northwest counties and the southeast counties the southeast counties have have started to they've seen the most rain over the last 30 days than anybody else. So but I would not be surprised if they do start to implement burn bans as everybody here is pretty dry out there as we just all haven't seen any meaningful rainfall for the past month or so. Here is a look at the tropics out there. 20% chance that this area of disturbed weather here off the coast of Central America develops into something over the next seven days, but that chance looks like it is decreasing. Now out in the tropical Atlantic, this area of low pressure right here has a 50% chance of developing as it pushes westward towards the greater Antilles over the next seven days. We'll watch that one, but not looking like like it's going to get into the Gulf of Mexico. So that's certainly some good news out there. 71 for your high today, mostly sunny skies and mild. Overnight tonight, we're talking about 41 degrees. A cold night is expected, and that Rose Festival parade coming up this weekend. Temperatures look like they're going to be cool to start the day off, rising into the 70s by 11 a.m., so not too bad out there for all of those festivities. And here's that seven-day forecast showing the much cooler weather today into the weekend before temperatures really start to rise as we head into the beginning of next week. And for more on your forecast, you can always visit us online at KETK.com. All right, continuing our